really hard. The hardest shift that I have ever had to do in my life without trying to, you know, break down, but just keeping busy. about a pool. So I, I see what you're doing there. I see, I see what you're doing there. Okay, TikTok, I fuck with y'all. Please, multiple health issues. If inspection came out there, they would be, they, they would probably need to knock the whole building down. That's all I'm gonna say. channel life on mars um but again this is a brand new day you guys um i believe the last time i picked up the camera was i believe july 20 july 29th and today's actually the 4th of august it's officially leo month and let me fix you guys as you guys can see we are officially in our new home um, we are still in an in-between stage with moving from one place to the other, but last night was actually the official day that we were able to stay here. Um, and yeah, so with that, we don't have any of our heavy uh, bedding or anything like that, but um, we did manage to get like a temporary blow up bed for the moment. And honestly, I'm hating it because of two reasons when I got the blow up bed, but that's a whole different story, but I don't want to bring down the energy here because your girl is back. So as you guys can see, we're in our new home. By the time you guys get this, you should have already watched the tour um, of our new home. Um, but we don't have any of our like entertainment stuff here. I do have my laptop, of course, but we don't have any of our laptops. I'm sorry, we don't have any of our actual like entertainment items and things. Um, and I'm actually in the middle of finishing up these clothes. I'll get to take you guys with me in my laundry room. It's still taking some, you know, used to getting, you know, getting used to all this room that we have now because we lived in a box for four years and um, we kind of outgrew it. It wasn't always, it didn't always feel like a box. It didn't always feel like a box, but we did outgrow the space. Um, Lex finally has, you know, a living room now, like a living room, living room. I finally have a living room, living room, not a living room slash beauty room. And it was just, you know, you know, yeah long story all i'm doing is it's kind of um bittersweet to pick up the camera again also um because to be very honest um some things have happened um which i didn't really get to really talk about in depth i did mention it in the last video um but it's, it's really a hard thing to actually sit down and talk about for me personally um without trying to get emotional on another note however um i know a girl looks different <laughs> you know face slimmed out you know i know we look different because yeah mm -hmm. let's talk about it your girl is 30 plus pounds down okay we are headed to 40 pounds down okay surgery has done me right okay but not only surgery one thing i do want to correct for the girls is that you know, when you get this surgery, it's not like a, it's not a magic pill. You still have to work it just like you would do a normal, a normal uh, lifestyle. And to be honest, with everything that has been hitting me literally from June, literally from June to now, it is now August. I would actually say end of May into August. Um, I haven't done some things right and it's been hard to get back on track. However, I have been exercising. This move is a form of exercising for sure. And, um, however, like when it comes to like cleaner eating, I still feel like personally, I did fall off the bandwagon because of, you know, trying to cope with different things or whatever. And, um, that's no excuse though, because I know how to clean it up. Um, it's just like I stated, things have been happening from May. I had surgery when I lost someone close to me, my mom, y'all. This is really hard for me to still keep saying. Like, I'm still quite angry about it, um, and I'm, I still don't have some of the answers that I am owed. July came. I'm just gonna go into July. July, 
we ended up, you know, moving. Uh, something else happened in July. My brain is not letting me think of what happened. Um, but, you know, here it is. We're still moving. It's going to take some time. Um, and we did have a pretty large gap into... Um, we did have a pretty large gap into um, the time that we were to officially not renew at our old place and that was because we were very eager to get out for multiple reasons which I will talk about in a later vlog um, and um, yeah so a lot has been happening May was surgery June was June very tragic to me uh, July was our move out date and the crazy thing is before we had got approved for this place and for our new place and um you know that was a blessing and I was willing to you know keep it you know keep it a secret you know um until I was ready until we were like fully moved in and of course you know tragedy tra tragedy struck and you know honestly every honestly every since you know end of May into now I really felt like everything was like just like in a trance I don't really feel like even though I've been away from my business for this long um and I've done this before but not in a slew of things happening back to back back to back back to back like this um you know I'm just trying to keep the positivity in it at the same time uh however this is very much a transitional hard shift shift I've ever hardest shift that I have ever had to do in my life without trying to you know break down but just keeping busy um keep insane and um it's really hard um but just trying to keep strong and trying to keep moving and still enjoy our new home and not you know um be depressed i enjoy our new home it's beautiful it's spacious yeah, i can now you know entertain my family as opposed to where we're coming from you know and i really want to get back to work but i'm also you know in a space where i'm not going to allow anybody to rush me back to work either um so uh it's just a lot you know i still have other work things outside of my business to handle that i'm trying to secure for other incomes for the future so I know what I have to do, but when I tell you, you guys, that I have not been able to, like, really sit down and do them, I haven't. So, um, and it's like in the days you would think, like, I would have time, but I really, I have not. I have not. So, it's really, really hard for me. Um, there's things that I know that had to get put on the back burner with all of this, you know, this new transition, this new phase of life that I am in. And, um, it's been hard. I'm going to be very transparent. It's been hard. So, um... But I'm trying to make the days for myself more enjoyable. Um, and one thing is for sure, my partner, she's a beautiful soul. Um, she's been such a big help. Like, just, like, I love, like, seeing her when she gets off. Because, like, everyone knows our lifestyle. Like, I work from home now. Um, and even though I've been off this long, the longest, this has been, like, you know, uh, I guess the longest that I haven't been working. But I did also have some things that required my time off and then tragedy stuck and then moving and then you know just one big thing so that i can't get out of like apparently um so once we get more settled with the move and things are up and running where i need them to be then i will you know get back to those things i guess um but like i said alexa has been making this very you know like easy she's been making this very easy for sure so yeah just taking it one day at a time and i'm off my soapbox at this point and yeah I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, y'all. So, hey, y'all. So, I'm back. Just for a brief little moment. Um, I had to actually take a break from washing clothes. And if it's a little noisy, it's because I had that um, laundry room door open. I meant to close it. But once I'm sitting down, I'm sitting down, honey. Um, yeah, and I decided to go ahead and get me something to drink. This is something I was drinking off of since yesterday. Um, it's just one of those uh, crystal light juices. And I put all my good herbal stuff in it. Um, like mineral water I put in it, um, mineral water, chlorophyll, and then I also put um, something for energy in here. So today, 
I might take you guys along with me too. Um, my cousin's girlfriend had invited me to their pool because in the area where we live, we live like five minutes from each other. And um, we're supposed to go to the pool. But the one thing about this weather that I'm not liking, it looks extra cloudy like it's about the rain. And early on it did say, let me see if it changed. Um, I don't know where I last left off at, but any whom um, she happened to be off today. So she had invited me to their pool. Um, our old place, which we still have access to, also has a pool. Um, but like I stated, once we're settled here, unfortunately they don't have a pool, but they got everything else that we want. So it's just like, yeah, no, we was out of there. So that's that. I wanted to show y'all what it looks like outside, just for a few. My zoom in was kind of weird. But yeah, that's how dark and gloomy it looks outside, you guys. And yeah, so I'm hoping that changes. Man, we did say earlier that or that it was supposed to um, rain. I don't know if I said that. I feel like I did, but I don't think I got to finish what I was trying to say. Um, however, it wasn't supposed to rain until like later in the evening. When I first looked, it did say like early in the day, but it said like a 30 to 50% chance. Then that cleared out and then now it's saying like late at night. So I'm really praying fingers crossed that it doesn't, um, it doesn't rain today. All right, hey y'all. So it's a couple hours later. And I'm just waking up, so I don't know if I have that that face. Like I'm just waking up, but I'm, I'm just waking up. Sorry, if that's going to stretch y'all. I'm just waking up, so I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm getting ready to um get myself up, get myself up. I'm really struggling. Get myself ready, um, so I can head over to my cousin's uh, crib. And I'm really struggling waking up. That nap was kind of good though, I ain't gonna lie. That blow up bit a little annoying, but for the most part, I was able to like, you know when you sleep and you sleep in one spot and it be hitting? It was hitting, but then all of a sudden, my phone went to keep ringing, so I don't understand. But anywho, I'm gonna get myself together and y'all, I'm super duper pissed because I'm supposed to be re, um, refreshing up my wig and to be very honest, I forgot my glue. I got my gots to be spray. But I don't think that's going to do what I needed to do how I do it with the glue. So I'm a little annoyed that I forgot that. Like, I'm just, we're going to have to see because if not, I'm going to have to pull off somehow. Just cover my entire head up. And I don't even have my hats or anything with me. So I got to figure out how the fudge I'm going to pull this off. Like, yeah. Aggie. Aggie much? <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm gonna try to do something to this head. So yeah, right here, we're gonna see if this gossip be spray gonna get me together because, all right, so here goes nothing. I'm just, ugh, but I'm so like scared to do this because I don't be doing this. Oh shit, like I don't be doing this and I needed to get real tangy. So now I'm finna do this other side. Cause yeah boy. Uh I'm tripping. Right in front of me. Cause one thing about it, I'm only a wig wearer in the community every once in a blue moon. I am not no professional. And I am gonna show y'all what I'm wearing. Something looks unless I'm tripping. Alright, so I'm trying to lather it up because I'm gonna make sure when I do this because I like I don't know if y'all can tell but again I'm not a super big professional at some of this which means um I do it based on my comfortability and what I like and I've seen some horrible jobs but I'm gonna shut up because I don't need nobody coming at me in fact I realized a long time ago that I like uh more fluffier um edges than the average I'll explain that. I'm not gonna say the average person because there, there are girls out there that also like fluffy edges as well. The fluffy edges look. That's just my preferred go-to, so. But uh, I always like this side of my edges better because the way that they swoop out 
but um, as of right now, I just hope I get the effect that I am trying to go for, and then I'll just comb the rest of it out. So another update that I need to tell, that I should have told y'all, that I could share with y'all, which I totally forgot, um, is that I recently went through a big chop involuntarily let's just say that um y'all remember the last time I was up here recording I um I had the uh the fox butterfly locks in now don't get me wrong because I'll never want to discredit anybody in their business however um when the person that I went to and it's just a lesson learned because I'll never go to somebody that's unlicensed again to touch my hair ever again. Um, the person that I went to, unlicensed, but again, I'm not going to complete discredit because don't get me wrong, I was left satisfied as a customer. She did do a beautiful job. However, I had a gut feeling when I was in her chair when I asked, you know, is are these difficult taking out because I've had butterfly fox locks before. However, I never had them in crocheted. So when typically when you're a first time into crochet, which no one ever really explained that there was a certain technique that you're supposed to have. I just assume that they're the same technique because she's still wrapping some portion of my hair. So if you're still wrapping some portion of my hair at some point, when I asked her, I felt like if I, if I remember correctly, her answer was, um, she, she, she kind of answered in a roundabout way, but it was like, oh, um if you have trouble just come back but i'm not gonna pay you sweetheart an additional 50 usually how it goes for me as long as i can take it out at home when i come back to pay again or to pay anything i'm paying to be in your chair to get a new reinstall not for you to take them out and i don't mean no harm i wasn't about to pay 50 dollars for you to take out something that should not have been that difficult to take out to begin with they it was horrible horrible trying to take those things out and at one point when i did thought or think that I had a method down of how to get them out I literally realized I was cutting my hair y'all I cut my hair like I cut my hair and then bad enough when I went to her in the before stages my hair personally was recovering from um again I get like hormonal breakouts and what that mean is um I'm sorry hormonal um Hormonal issues basically that caused my hair since 2020 on and off randomly to just fall out and I'll get little spot, spot patches. I was told that it could have been alopecia, but I never went to a dermatologist, so I really don't know what it was. It was an ER doctor that told me this years ago and all this other stuff. So um, anyway, my hair had fell out again in February because I don't know if you guys remember, but some part of early top of February into January, I was wearing my hair in like a natural style, natural ponytail to the back. Point blank, by the time I had went to her, my bald spots were in the midst of recovering, which is why I wanted something natural, you know, to help fill those spots in that I can have them for, you know, a while. Y'all went to take them out, thought I had a method down of how to take them out and literally was cutting and butchering my hair. Which is crazy because at that particular time, I was not ready to let go of my hair. Once I already seen that I cut like three strands of my hair. There was no point in possibly still trying to figure out staying 20 minutes on one little thing to get out of my hair. And I already accidentally cut some. And it just was horrible. So I'm like, these literally should not have been that difficult to take out. So, any whom, I just got tired and I just start uh, Britney Spears and that shit. everywhere so literally it just was like y'all it was a mess and honestly i was not ready to you know to uh, part with my hair but i'm gonna be very honest with you right when my hair had fell out in february i definitely um i definitely was a little apprehensive not apprehensive but i really did question and at that time when it fell out should i just let it go but my length itself was still good it's just the spots kind of like made me like oh my god i just really want to start my hair over i was really tempted to call one of my cousins who's a barber to just come and cut it because that was really ridiculous and at that time because I knew surgery was coming up, I was like, yeah, let me just go ahead and get something kind of like protective. And that's when I got the butterfly fox locks. And y'all, 
I'm just so I wasn't like I wasn't ready to part with my hair but I what because as I had that style in, I think I had that style in those type of styles because my hair grows back really really slow too and I can keep getting them retwisted that has nothing to do with anything it's the top root that gets retwisted um and it's not anything that's getting reconstructed wrapped around because the girl gonna ask me that like oh did you uh it could have been the person that redid them. No, one I redid them, did them. A simple twist at the root has nothing to do with the construction of the hair being locked deep down and wrapped from the original work that you did. They want to tell me, oh, that was the up to date, the most up to date style and all that other stuff. Sweetheart, I don't know what you did. And if that was the case, when I asked, when I was sitting in her chair, she should have just said, hey, I have, you know, a tutorial on how to take it out or here's something you can do to help take it out or something. In the beginning when I asked, her answer to me was a little bit roundabout and was like, oh, more like money hungry. Like, oh, just come back to me if you need help taking them out. I'm not going to get charged $50 for you to take something out that I can take out myself that I've been taking my hair off for years and never had an issue. And so I let somebody unlicensed do my hair and to be honest i've had plenty of people that were unlicensed to do my hair and i never had this issue before so sorry not sorry i will never do it again never do it again so right now my hair is going through a big chop which is why i'm probably going to be in wigs more often than i would like but i'm going to be stunting my little you know short stuff too um, I just have to find something that complements my hair until it grows out to a certain length that I want. And I might just keep, I might just, you know, be a baldy. I might just give me a nice little cute little pixie cut and yeah, and go from there. Because um, I really do want to go back, I'm not going to lie, like short as I'm thinking about it, as I'm looking up actual like cute styles for pixie cuts. Um, but I'll never do that again. I really, and I'm, I'm letting it be known right now on this channel, I do not recommend uh crochet box locks the regular ones fine i had no issue with those but i do not absolutely do not recommend those at whatsoever the crochet ones no and a lot of people and somebody warned me somebody fair warned me and was like um somebody fair warned me and was like girl those those fox locks those are really hard really hard to take out and I'm kind of like, you know what, I, I never really have an issue with taking them out. Da, 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 da. And the girl was like, no, she was like, girl, I had a hard time. She said, me and my, uh, the person at the time was talking about her and her partner. She had to get help to take them out. And I'm like, what? But I'm not thinking, this is going to be my reality. This is going to be my situation. Because I think at the time she was telling me, I didn't have them in for like another few months. Or something like that. I didn't have it in. I didn't have the official hairstyle. I think for another you know few months or whatever so of course like I stated not thinking anything disaster it just it really was a disaster y'all like it truly was a disaster all right so now I'm getting ready to go get changed um my hair is pretty much where I want it until I let this fully dry and get dressed so I'm trying to think I really low-key want to put some lashes on but um I really low-key don't um I really don't feel like fidgeting with it or nothing like that. Plus, I'm going to have sunglasses on, so it's really going to kind of defeat the purpose for me. So, I'm probably going to go without. And, yeah, so let me go get my baby suit so I can show y'all what your girl's wearing today. So, yeah. Alright, y'all. So, don't mind whatever y'all see in the background. Again, y'all know how I move and go. Not going to explain it. So, anywho, this was the best place for right now that I had. Oh, shit. I keep clicking the wrong thing over. Here we go. This was the best place um, for now that I actually had some good lighting to actually show y'all my bathing suit. So, <clears throat> again, if um, anybody remembers my 2021 trip to uh, Disney World, I think I wore this. Um, but I'm a little bit smaller now, so we're gonna see how she looks. And then I have like a little skirt that goes with it. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to wear my same little knitted cover up, because I always wear that. Um, especially because it's so dark and gloomy. It's a little bit of like sun trying to poke through, but it's not a lot outside. But then I have this, you know, like a nice little skirt cover up to go with it. And then we got the day of the move-in vlog. I had bought um, these glasses, which are mad, mad cute. And I think I got them from Target. Um, and I think they were like almost $20. Um, I don't remember the exact pricing, but if I find them, or like look them up then maybe but i don't even know what brand of glasses these are so i lied i think those ones the blue ones were 17 and these ones were actually 15. so 
but almost close to twenty dollars. You round up, it's almost twenty dollars. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And then I have these ones. So hopefully you guys can see those, and it's not. So it will go perfect with this. Like y'all, y'all, y'all. It's about a pool. Y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Um, and sorry for the bad lighting, y'all. I just, I guess, chose to sit right here for a reason. Um, but yeah, um, that's what I'm basically getting ready to. I'm trying to find the best lighting, but okay, when I turn this way, it's not that bad. Um, but that's basically what I'm getting ready to get into and ignore anything y'all see back there because, honey, um, we still trying to get it together. Y'all know how this moving stuff goes, so whatever you see is what you see. And what you're going to get is what you're going to get. Okay? So, yeah. But I will be taking y'all along with me. I'm actually getting ready to get in the shower so I can go ahead and um, get ready. And, yeah. I'll see y'all in a bit. Alright. So, hey, you guys. So, like I told you, I made it to the... Um, I was on my way to the Rent Cafe. Um, I would have also recorded myself um, on the way here. But I was fighting bugs on the way. <laughs> So I really was like not too fond of that, but it was a pretty brisk uh, walk. Um, I believe I got to meet the owner. He's really nice. His cologne smelled really nice. Um, and I'm going to probably end up transitioning over by the bar so I can sit properly to get on my computer so I can continue editing for today. Show you guys what it looks like in here also. Let's see. It's really nice. It's really, really nice in here. I remember when we did the tour, I know the gym is that way, uh, but when we did the tour, um, it was really, really nice in here. Still nice. I believe they have like, if you need to use the computer or print things off, you can print things off. I like that. And it looks like they even have like an outside, is that like an outside patio? It's pretty nice. I don't remember them showing us this. This is really awesome. This is really nice. I didn't even peek that they had that. Yeah. It's really beautiful. I like how it's decorated in here and everything. Yep. So, yeah. So, I'm going to transition myself over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to transition myself either here or at one of the, the tables. I'm not sure. Alright, so hey y'all. So, I finally made it. Um, well, y'all knew I made it. I don't know why I said I finally made it. I actually finally made it to transitioning over by the bar. It's pretty nice in here. Like I told you guys, they got complimentary snacks. They have the TV. And I got my computer because I'm getting ready to do some work. I haven't turned it on yet. There we go. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to do some work. so hey y'all so i'm back home i actually been home for a while i forgot to pick y'all back up so tell me why again if y'all see anything in the background just ignore it y'all already know what's going on but yeah so tell me why my crazy tell so i'm just now discovering this whole little montgomery brawl uh bleh. i'm um just now discovering and seeing all over the blog post this um montgomery brawl that happened on a rubber day so my crazy tell self don't ask me what made me <laughs> don't ask me why but i ended up doing like a little um <laughs> a little jingle about it child and y'all why on tiktok is doing numbers low key like it's literally doing numbers low key like i'm cracking the fuck up because it's mad funny because literally out of all the things that i've done did, did on tiktok on Instagram or whatever. Of course, that video, I guess, because it's something that's trending right now, which makes sense. Um, so I, I see what you're doing there. I see, I see what you're doing there. Okay, TikTok, I fuck with y'all. I really wasn't really trying to fuck with y'all like that. At first, but I fuck with y'all. Mm-hmm, yeah. But just had to get on here to tell y'all that real fast. Um, baby's on her way home. I'm getting ready to finish um, editing at some point, possibly tonight. I might not. I might not be able to uh, finish um, the editing that I wanted to do so I can get episode four to you guys. By the time you guys see this, episode four will already be up for my VSG. Um, and yeah, but because um, we got a couple things to do by the time she gets back home. So, and we're probably going to be all night doing that. So, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up. And we just gonna continue tomorrow. See y'all. All right, so hey y'all. So I decided to pick up my camera. It's a brand new day. It's actually uh, Monday, August 
seven, which also means it's ten days before my birthday. But you know, that's not what this is about. Um, yeah. So me and Bay just got home. We actually just uh, missed a tornado watch, and um, I'm saying it wrong. I'm sorry. We just missed. It ain't nothing that we missed. We just missed, the tornado missed us because we was just outside and running around today. Literally, it just started pouring and the trees started going crazy with the winds. I don't even know what the winds were, but some of them trees are like, they was gonna fall down, like it was crazy. Because we live up here now where there's more like, a little bit like more like trees, a little more greenery and things like that. But anywho, I wanted to show y'all something too. Y'all, so y'all already know, coming from our old place, and if I look a little sleepy, I am. I'm very sleepy. But coming from our, from our old place, y'all already know. We did not have the luxury of a freaking dishwasher, you guys. Do y'all see that? Oh, I'm so excited about that. Like, it's really the little thing. Like, but yeah, so right now what I'm doing, I am wiping off, you know, I try to like um, sanitize, um, different items and stuff like that because I'm gonna be honest living at the old place was pretty freaking gross which I told you I'm gonna probably open up about probably at a later date um but it was pretty gross um and for the most part I try to keep myself clean sanitized and all that and I'm gonna get ready to prepare myself for that drawer right here to be my season drawer my little organizers we haven't gotten that yet but i'm going to get my or my shelf organizer for the drawer i'm gonna see how i like just the regular uh the regular um seasons just sitting in there first and then go from there so yeah so i wanted to pick the camera up at least for today um we're not doing anything let's um just got the tv set up too like in our kind of like living space area she just got the tv set up in there um i'm not quite even sure what she's doing in the back room but yeah she kind of just left me talking about, I want to be where you are. But where you at? Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about it? Where you at? <laughs> yeah, because, you know. But other than that, she back to probably mind her business or something. Probably in the bathroom or something. Very much something. So, I'll probably pick y'all up again a little later. Alright, so, hey, y'all. Welcome and welcome back. Um, So, I don't even know why I said welcome and welcome back. This is not a brand new vlog, but this is a brand new day. Um, I told you guys that I was going to go ahead and repick the camera up, but I didn't end up doing that. Um, however, if this is a brand new day, uh, as of August 8th, and as you guys can see, I'm in my brand new kitchen. I got some pots back there because I'm actually getting ready to cook. Um, I won't be showing any of that on camera for today. I will just probably just show the um, finished product, but I'm basically just cooking and also watching YouTube, <laughs> period. Watch my girl Lily. I've been watching her for years, y'all. But um, watching Lily, yours truly, period. And I'm about um, 17 or so minutes in. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm getting ready to do. I got my little dishes in. Oh, and then, y'all seen how this may go. I've, um, I'm cooking spaghetti. I haven't made skip spaghetti in a long time, but babe said she wanted spaghetti. So I was like, hmm, that do sound good. So I said, let, let me go ahead and make it. But I want to make it in our new crib, not the old crib. Got my little onions. I got my green peppers, red and green. Um, and then, of course, our ground turkey. Um, I had realized a long time ago, both me and Lex seem to like ground turkey more than we do ground beef. Um, and then I got my pork sausage. Um, I'm sorry, my pork sausage, but uh, it's actually pork turkey and beef and it's calabasa. So I'm gonna put that in there. But like I said, I'm just showing you guys some of the ingredients and I got my, my seasonings. I got my seasonings in our pantry. I'm gonna show y'all the pantry actually. But I don't know if I, I don't recall if on the tour I showed you. I don't know if on the tour I showed you guys the pantry, but we tried to fill some of it up. Um, and pretty, <laughs> and pretty soon we will, um, of course have more things as we go along, but this is what the pantry looks like. We got some stuff going on in here. Yep. But I believe I might have showed y'all it, but it was empty. So now it's starting to be, you know, semi full. But yeah. So that's what we are getting into for the night, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm pretty sure I will probably have to um, sit.
see you guys possibly on another vlog or this one will just continue but yeah i'm gonna get busy up over here i'm gonna get busy over here in the kitchen and i will see you guys on another slide or another vlog <laughs> all right bye hey y'all so good morning happy hum hum blah, blah, blah. happy hump day or whatever so today is uh, Wednesday, August 9th, if y'all can see that there. Yeah, I can see it a little bit. And um, I was supposed to get back up here yesterday or last night to show y'all what my finished results look like, my food look like. And I didn't get a chance to do that. <laughs> so, Babe tore her food up. She was saying it was very delicious. I mean, it's me, you know, for those of, the, those of you that may be new here, you know, I know these hands is vicious in the kitchen. But I grew up that way. So, it is this however <laughs> i'm gonna show you what it looks like do not judge my bowl because i only have a little bit in here because with noodles you gotta tread lightly anyway and i also got some leftover um applebee's wings in here um which is in the flavor asian chip up no i was about to give you a whole different it's called asian something i think Oh my God, I cannot remember Asian Sesame or something. Not Asian Sesame, because it ain't a Sesame inside. I cannot remember the name. I'm not on Applebee's right now, but I can't remember the name, but it's a wing in here. But this is what my food looks like. My spaghetti from yesterday. Looks so good. This bowl is hot, y'all. Very hot. So, and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, even though it's morning time, I just wanted my dinner from last night. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. And then for lunch, I'm probably gonna do some tuna, some tuna and crackers, so. Sometimes, hmm, sometimes a girl wants what a girl wants, okay? I found out the name, by the way. It's actually called Asian Chili. It's on here. It's it right on here. I don't want to twist it from the thing going cold, but y'all probably not going to see it. Oh, and I damn sure don't want to show y'all because my whole name on here. So, but nonetheless, it's actually called Asian Chili. So yeah, I just threw that little wing up in there. That's really good. I wanted to also talk to y'all about uh, my giveaway, my upcoming giveaway. So, whether you are new here, current here, excuse me, um, that's fine and well. Um, I will be having a designer perfume giveaway for, um, it's a travel size perfume. Um, I actually forget the, how big this is, but it is travel size. Um, and it's uh, the perfume called Flower Bomb. So for me, if anybody that knows me or is getting to know me <laughs> through my uh, YouTube channel here, um, I, prefer, I prefer a much cleaner um, scent, like things that smell like kind of strong, a little flowery, but not too sweet. And Flower Bomb sounds exactly what it smells like, like, you know, very strong and very sweet. So it's not my particular scent. However, I would love, 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 love to give this away. Uh, so once I hit my first 100 subscribers, I will be giving this little guy here, here away. This is what it looks like for their travel size. And you guys, I actually order off of fragrance.net. So yeah, I will be giving this uh, little guy away. I will send it to you in the mail. Doesn't matter where you live at. Oh, I don't know why I'm thinking I could take it apart. But um, this is what it looks like. So again, it is very much small. Um, and Flower Bomb by, I believe it's Victor and I know who it's by you guys, but yeah, brain for it. It's Victor and Victor and Ralph. That's who it's by. So I will be giving that away. Um, and also I just found out about another fragrance site. called fragrance x and a friend of mine just told me about them and i didn't know that they were also like a discounted i've never heard of them besides fragrance.com for discounted perfumes colognes and things of that nature and i really love them and another thing about fragrance.com and the crazy thing is this is not even sponsored y'all but what i will say that I, what i love so far about fragrance.com i'm sorry fragrance.net Wait, this say fragrance.com. Now, which one is it now? Now I'm confused. But either or, maybe they used to go under that. But it's fragrance.com. So one thing that I do like about fragrance.com or fragrance.net 
is that they um, send you samples. So even if there's a fragrance out there that you may not be familiar with, I think that is so clutch. Now I do, I am aware that I asked um, a friend of mine just fragrance extra that and they don't do that. So to me, I'm probably gonna be a foreverfragrance.com, fragrance.net girl for sure, um, because I like getting the little samples based on what I ordered and they send you the samples. Um, so that way it kind of keeps my, it keeps my fragrance open to newer fragrances. So that's something that I really love. So just to plug that in there. And again, fragrance.net, if you do happen to come across this, you know, how at me. I'm just saying I am looking for sponsorships in the in the future. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was very, very cool. So a lot of you may not have heard of fragrance.com uh, or fragrance.net, but that's where I like to get all my smell goods um, from. And I'm actually in the midst of building my collection now. So yeah, so yeah. All right, y'all, so it looks like for me today, um, it's going to be very much, turn on my old light. It's gonna be very much a um, editing day for me. I'm trying to get you guys this stuff out because it has been some time. Um, life has been life in, as I explained, I believe, um, in the earlier part of this vlog. And I am just now, oh, there we go, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I am just now being able to kind of catch you guys up uh, and things like that. So, um, it's, 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 it's been hard. It's been overwhelming. It's been hard. But, you know, again, we all know that God does give his stronger soldiers the most battles you know things like that so to get through and you know without him there's nothing that i can't get through so um but other than that you know i'm catching back up i still have my new beauty room to design and you know um things of that nature so i still got a lot of work to do before i can actually get back to work and start taking clients again so but i'm gonna get it done i'm gonna get it done and yeah but um, as y'all can see so this is how I'm working. And, um, you know, I gotta make do with what I got. <laughs> As of right now, y'all can see, I don't have any of my uh, like little tables here, nothing, we don't have anything yet. So, um, yeah, so. What I didn't get to show y'all, I don't believe though, you guys. I don't think I've got to show you guys this. So, as I talked about, I believe in the earlier parts of this vlog, my mother passed and, um, it still bothers me to even say that my mom passed, um, transparently speaking. It bothers me a lot for many reasons. Um, but um, the one thing that I do love about our new home layout is that this here was very much perfect for this. You know, I will be putting a uh, plant behind here, like a plant of some sort, maybe pompous grass. If I can't find the exact plant that I want to go up there. And right here won't be as vacant. I th I'm thinking about putting um, some candles or something there. So it'll work itself out, but I miss my mom, y'all. Hmm. And I actually just got this here. This is her, um, her wallet, one of her belongings or whatever. So um, that was giving me some, so I kind of just put it there. Um, I even have a lot of things. I even have a lot of things at home. I'm sorry, at home. That's not my home anymore. Yeah, we acting real bougie on this side. That's not my home anymore. Um, it is, but it's not. We kind of overlapped and I don't know if I spoke about this either in the early part of the vlog, but we kind of overlapped um, with, with really wanting, we've been wanting to get out of our old place for the past two years, guys. And let me see if I could put you guys down because my arm is hurting. Yeah, we've been very much trying to get out of our new place for a very long time in the past two years. And uh, with that, we went on tour back in like, it had to be some part of June, I believe. It was like a few weeks after my surgery. And um, which was also a few weeks before my mom passed. And un unknowingly. And um 
we went on tour and we you know we saw an exact layout of this one we didn't see our exact layout but we did see an exact layout of this one um which was also a plus because they were like you know telling us you know um the qualities of our place and things like that which we love especially if you guys know if you know you know you've been rocking with me for some time you know the, the little box we were in we were in like a damn near new york style box and to be honest when we moved in there of course when we moved in there um i'm not gonna lie that was my everything i didn't expect to hit a pandemic still needing to make money also got sick and i had to hone in on excuse me some beauty skills that i knew so any whom uh finally god gave us a blessing and the crazy thing is i ended up advocating kind of i guess for lex more so to take her usual impulsiveness to just like do things um i'm more of the planner so i can't just do them i have to strategically plan everything so i just told her i said listen that place is perfect their online models didn't do them any just justice it's spacious it's exactly what we need and it also feels like home this is this is it for us and we had toured places like i think a good two years ago a year ago and everything we were all out delaware and all that um for those that don't know i live out pennsylvania so um once we got the feel for it i told her i said listen and we were one because we asked we asked our leasing agent who um was handling us the, on the tour date we asked her like you know what was the what's the credit score that we would need to qualify and she told us you know like a ballpark number i, I guess that she knows or that she remembered or whatever and come to find out we were kind of a little discouraged but we knew that we had you know the income for it so any home um i just told her i said well instead of us like you know feeling like we hit the feet because of what she said why not just try to see fill out you know for the application have them do the check and see and y'all they did it they did it and one day i was asleep lex woke me up and was like babe we got the we got the place we got the da, da, da. and i'm like you're lying i'm like you're killing i'm like see i'm like you're kidding that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> you're kidding so i'm like see i done finally you know lived on the edge took a little page out of her book and told her just run it just run it and see what happens and sure enough we got approved so that was a blessing in itself but not really realizing you know even then when we knew for those couple of weeks that we were sitting on it before my, when my mom was alive and well um you know we had both said okay we're not going to tell anybody until you know we are um but until we get you know the keys in hand and then we can share the news with everybody or whatever because my old place like i stated that was my everything you guys um it, it it really was my everything but there was also other things as time went on that did not make it so homely filled and it didn't feel like we were under um leasing agents or officers or an establishment that really cared about their tenants outside of the money then want to go up on the rent every year even though that's what all um apartment complexes do and things like that that's understood i get that now and i also know the backing behind why they go up each year it makes total sense but um there it's like it's a whole it's here versus there's a total total 360. um then they had health issues there at that place multiple health issues if inspection came out there they would be they they would probably need to knock the whole building down that's all i'm going to say um i really want to go in more depth about it because i'm going to i really do want to do, do more in depth about it but you'll see probably after this vlog i'm going to do some things as we get more closer to fully moving in and it's clear on that side and i'm gonna give y'all all the tea because it's ridiculously nasty and disgusting there um consistently cleaning even though i'm a consistent cleaner anyway it's just consistently cleaning cleaning more cleaning on top of cleaning cleaning and more clean like you can just imagine yeah uninvited guests that you're cleaning up after no so here mm, the blessings we don't have to worry about that okay so i'm very 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 thankful for that um we're, our community is very um nice and beautiful upkept um and even how they handle things like if there's something that needs to be done with maintenance they come out like literally if it's not that night they will come out that next day and i'm sure if it's an emergency they may come um 
like within those same days but if it's something that's small and minor that can be handled in the next day they will you know there they did i will say their maintenance crew i never had an issue with them either really i'm lying yes i did i had one recent is issue that got delayed for the first time that we were there almost in four years however um most i would say of their maintenance men um they handle everything everything's fine um uh and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like maintenance to maintenance, you know, I don't I don't have an issue yet, you know, or I haven't had an issue really. Like I had one issue where one issue that was technically like an emergency got delayed. I did we did have that. Uh as far as response to emails and actual like caring that, you know, okay, this is handled or oh sorry that happened, da da da, da you know, complete 360 like i feel like i'm not even gonna like exaggerate we get treated like kings and queens on this side over there we were definitely living with and getting treated like the peasants in that building so i that i was just not for um i'm gonna do a full shebang of details where we were living to put them on blast everything um so yeah because mm, you know yeah like we really feel like we're home we got space now like it's very spacious in here perfect for both of us and also we can now you know entertain so like there it was getting very hard for me to like you know entertain or have family come down like they once did before and more so speaking of lex's family i think uh for thanksgiving they wanted to come down last year but we ended up having to do it at their place because as you guys know my living room was now my um my beauty and spa room so with that um, I now have a beauty and spa room of my own. So right now, you know, I'm not in the living room. Lex can get her space back. You get what I'm saying? Her common space area back. So, you know, I did feel bad about that. But, you know, in certain instances, I, I'm one of them people like, you know, I got to do what I got to do. And um, that's what I meant by like, I'm not going to lie. That place is where I, you know, I started. I also got back to a lot of, you know, a lot of like things that I was very much passionate about. I went and got my license there. Like I have a lot of memories there. Got my license there. Um, one year Lex had came out when we first moved in together um 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 we did get to uh have thanksgiving there with her parents not thanksgiving it was something we were celebrating it wasn't thanksgiving but i think her parents did get to come down for the holiday one year um my mom got to spend thanksgiving with me there um um what else i'm missing a lot I, I had a lot of accomplishments in that apartment i'm not gonna lie we both did you know me and lex both had a lot of accomplishments there in that apartment we both got to expire inspire each other by going after you know positions dreams and jobs and careers that we wanted to go after you know so there's a lot of memories in that place that we were we were we were in for four years four years even the reason why i had to move um which i'll do a story time about that also um yeah now that i'm able to get back to everything i am i'm gonna go ahead and i'll open up, up about um an incident that happened to me in 2019 when i when i lost my grandmother um and i will be speaking from a place of i don't know mixed feelings because to be in that time and to remember everything how it happened and the reasons why it happened the way that it did you know i don't know what emotions i may have from that but i can now finally you know have a space to feel like you know i can talk about it um but you know jokes was on them that's all i'm gonna say and i'm in a better place now um, i'm not looking to be petty or anything like that but it, it's also not for me a big kumbaya moment either um but um i just know my place and i know i just i know my place and i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm picking god over yeah i'm picking god and i'm picking my peace and that's it so yeah thanks for watching and tuning in guys be sure to subscribe and i will be sure to catch you guys on the next one bye